Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday the 18th of November 2025, I hope you are keeping well. I'm back from a quite a nice day's work, uh, but after that a long walk uh, to get to see a customer as well. And so uh, I must admit I'm feeling pretty tired now, but I hopefully I'll be able to play this game. If it's not too taxing, I should be able to hopefully get rid of this uh, Gar uh, oh, no, not Guardian. The New York Times hard level Sudoku puzzle in a moment. What's going on in the news? I see in the UK, according to the Guardian, uh, the government is going to outlaw the resale of tickets, concert tickets, etc., uh, by touts at anything above face value. This is a great decision. Should have been introduced years ago. Uh, ticket touts are monstrous people. Um, you know, they they overcharge by ridiculous amounts. They buy up tickets and which makes you know creates shortages those people that get in queues or whatever they manage to be um, bypassed by ticket touts who will then uh, sell on at inflated values it's a, a horrific capitalist idea <laughs> a middleman of tickets and uh, I see that the ticket apparently there are online companies that do this as well advertise as well I didn't know this but because I wouldn't use their services anyway but there's apparently a ticket company called tickets they're called StubHub I think they're called uh, I've forgotten the name of it now uh, and apparently they sell uh, tickets at inflated prices and they are complaining saying well if you if you make it illegal they will go to the black market there will be an underground market how dangerous is that not dangerous at all go ahead make it a black market who cares nobody cares uh, if people are I idiots and want to pay ridiculous amounts of fees for something they can afford to do it you know they're so rich they got more money than sense then uh, let them go ahead and, and do that now there are many things in life that are dangerous and if they are made illegal uh, there is real danger to human beings for example drugs for example uh, addiction in forms of gambling and things like that and what do I think? What's my own personal view? My personal view is that things like that, that can't ever be fully banned, uh, should not be illegal. Um, but they should be heavily taxed, heavily, heavily taxed, all of those kind of things. And that they should use all of that tax money, and I mean all of it, plus more, uh, in education uh, against those particular things. So in other words, you know, if... If uh, if drugs are legal, certain drugs anyway, maybe not all drugs. Certain drugs are legal. Uh, they are highly taxed, and uh, those taxes will go to educate people on the dangers of those drugs. Same thing for uh, gambling sites. You know, it doesn't work to make gambling illegal. Uh, I live in Thailand, where gambling is totally illegal. All forms of it have been illegal f forever. <laughs> Certainly since since I've since I've been living here, which is. 38 years I think it is so um, um, but and yet it goes on uh, at all levels of society low levels and high levels as well uh, it's been impossible to ban it uh, in real life uh, and so you know uh, if that kind of stuff is regulated that's better and uh, the money that comes in in taxation should be trying to educate people on the uselessness of trying to gamble which is something, you know, I, I really don't recommend. I'm totally against it. Uh, but of course, a few people manage to see the reason why it can't be completely outlawed as well is because some people do manage to gamble from time to time. They have a small flutter and that's it. They don't get addicted to it. And same thing for some kind of, uh, you know, alcohol or drugs. Maybe they, they indulge once in a while and that's all and they never get addicted. Um, so, you know, human beings, being human beings, need to make their own choices. But... Uh, the dangers need to be um, educated uh, uh, about. And so uh, that's my solution. There we are. <laughs> Was it not good enough? Never mind. I'll think of something better tomorrow. Let's get on with the game of Sudoku then. You know, I saw something and then my eye... Oh, there it is. I was going to say I saw something and my eye dropped the ball. But there we go. This is New York Times. I'm going to start with digit 5 in this square here.
sevens across this way, this way, and up here. Don't give me a seven there. Sevens blocking to the bottom, down there. I hope this is not going to be another taxing New York Times game here because I'm just feeling rather um, too tired to play a difficult game. Two's blocking northwards. Uh, and of course, to finish my point off was that, uh, uh, you know, um, if you buy tickets from a ticket tout, it's not dangerous to health in any way. So, uh, who cares? Let's go through the numbers. Okay, it's a nice little three over here. Seven blocking down here, seven across there and there, and guess where seven is here? One of those two squares blocking down. So we found another seven down in the bottom. Two blocking these two squares here, two blocking this square, two blocking this square in this column. There's our two.
uh, I think I'm not really going to delay on putting in pencil marks today because uh, I'm too tired to do anything else. So let's go ahead and do that. I did have looked around the grid. I haven't spotted anything, but uh, it just might. I don't want to go on for too long with this game. So let's do it in the way that I can finish the game for sure, as opposed to one where I might be able to finish it or not. Ah, there's a pair of four and seven there. Yeah, I see now. Look, there we go. Didn't see it before. Let's focus on this block, shall we? What have we got? Well, hang on. Let's just let's just do the pairs first of all, and then we'll come back and look at this in just a tick. Just a tick. Hold on. All right. So we got four and seven there. We got one blocking across there. That gives ones in those squares there. Uh, we've got two blocking across here and down here that means that that is in fact two and that's a two there and that's not a two uh, what do we know about three three blocks across here like this that gives us threes in no squares six blocks across here so six goes there and nine blocks across here so there we go with the nines and that block is complete let's have a look at this column down here we got fours and sevens now let's see if there's anything else go back and look at the pairs again shall we just in case yeah we've got one blocking across here so now we've got ones in those squares oops that's right so let's get that one there okay and then we've got a pair of ones down here which means that ones must appear in one of these two squares because we've got ones down here and here we got the one blocking there so that in fact will be a one and that's a one there and that's a one there and that's a seven there and we'll get rid of that candidate one and we'll get rid of these candidate ones over here as well and that leaves us with a six there now and so six blocking across here and across there gives us six in that square let's get rid of candidate six there three blocks across here that gives us three in this square that's a three there there's a nine five blocks this square here we need a five in this column let's put the five there let's put the three down there oh sorry not three let's put the eight down there I should say sorry uh, Okay, eight blocks up there. We get we do get a pair of eights up there. In fact, let's just go through the numbers again, see what else we can do now. It might be something else. Ones. Uh two blocking down here, so that's the final digit two. Three blocking down here gives us three in that square. Remove that candidate. Four in one of these squares, meaning that can't be four. That's got to be the seven. Four has to be here, in fact. Five blocking across here, across there, and up there. There's a five. Five. Can we? Can we? No, we can't. We've got a pair of fives there. Okay, we've got five across here, five down there. There's a five, and then five across here, across there, down there, down there. There's a five. Uh, 
8 blocks this square here, so up there there's the 8, the last number to get down here is a 9. One more digit for this row, which is 6, I think. 6 blocking up here, up there, there's a 6. And uh, maybe we'll check out the numbers that we still haven't finished. 1s, okay, 3s need to be done. No change there, 4 four blocks across here so four in one of those squares they're blocking across blocking across there that must be a four and this can't be a four back over here for the last number Ooh, getting messages last number in this row which is a nine i think okay the nine blocking down to the bottom gives us nine here so three in that square there three there this has to be an eight last number to go there six well, I said I hoped that it wouldn't be too tough a game, and it really wasn't, actually. Uh, I think it's over. If I'd, All I've done was spotted that 4 and 7, which most people probably did already, anyway, without the pencil marks. Then the whole game could have been completed, probably even a bit faster. What's missing down here? 9. Uh, right, again, let's see what we need. It's no 1s, 4s. Six, eight. There we go. Eight across there gives us eight in that square. Eight down there. There's the eight. Last number to go there is four. Four up. There's the four. And the last number to get down here is. Well, this is a nine, isn't it? So I think that's going to be a nine down there, isn't it? Uh, what's left to get over here? Six. Six blocking across here and down there. There's a six. This has to be a one. There's a one there. Missing digit there is four. Four blocking across. Last number to place uh, is the four there. And the last number down here is eight. There we go. That's our New York Times puzzle. <sighs> right, I'm going to have a nap. An, e an evening nap before I go to bed. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.